The king of the jungle doesn't interrupt his lunchtime for just anything. Stop! <laughs> Stop! Hmm. <laughs> Is it a cry for help? Stop! Are two enemies locked in mortal combat? Stop! <laughs> or is it the annual birthday badge of Howie the Howler Monkey? Make a wish! <laughs> <gasps> Look at that! <laughs> it's a great big party, and you get a cake, a fire, and you get a bucking rhinoceros! Hmm, sounds like you're talking about a birthday party. Oh, oh, yes! A, a birthday party! <laughs> What's a birthday? A party for your birthday? Remember? Hmm. Mm. <laughs> oh, George is having a hard time remembering something that's never happened. <gasps> You've <laughs> never had a birthday party, have you? George, I haven't had a crisp, crunchy termite all day. Could you get me one? Oh, uh, sure. Thank you. I thought you were afraid of termites. Ape, I can't believe George has never had a birthday party. We don't really know when he was born. I thought he was the same age as you. How old are you anyway? In ape years, I'm five. <laughs> <laughs> the happiest memories of my whole life are at my birthday parties. Uh, uh, mine too. <laughs> Here we go. Crispy, crunchy, turd, mate. Hey, uh, what's wrong? <laughs> George, knock it off! Oh, come on! Giddy up! <laughs> no! Please! No! Please! No! Please! Please! No! Huh? We have got to throw George his own birthday party. We've got to get him a present. It's got to be something so perfect. <gasps> it makes up for all the years he's never had a birthday. Whatever it is, he'll be plenty surprised. <gasps> I'm getting a fucking rhino! <laughs> Sleeping. <laughs> Sleeping. Well, he doesn't need loincloths. <gasps> or anything rhino-related. <laughs> oh. Anyway, I guess we'll have to brainstorm and come up with some ideas of our own. <laughs> so what did you get for George? A six-in-one frog zapper. It's a frog and it catches flies. <laughs> Don't all frogs catch flies? But this one also catches mosquitoes, licks envelopes, changes light bulbs, and picks up coins that fall behind the dresser. That's five things. Maybe number six is it gives you warts. I got your these. Now who would love these? What'd you get him? Something practical. Something he's always needed. Shorts? Uh, George has a thing about pockets. Help! Help! George to the rescue! Let's see. Rescue manual. Sandwich. Banana. First aid kit. Up. Oh, second aid kit. Compass. Six in one frog zapper. Cookie cookie bird. After sandwich snack. Drink. Help already! <laughs> <laughs> Let's just make him a nice fruit basket. Everybody wants some kind of present. And we can't give him a birthday party until we make up our minds about what to give him. A fucking rhino! George wants a fucking rhino! Is that George spying on us? No, uh, no! It's just us ostriches! Come on, that is not what we sound like. <laughs> 
George is going to love the gift we're getting him. Why, it's exactly what he wanted. And he'll never think to look at the top of Mount Way up there. <laughs> <gasps> My fucking rhino! <laughs> <sighs> at least now we can figure out what to get him in peace. <laughs> <laughs> Friends hide George's present really well. Huh. Oh, nothing up here but this giraffe. <gasps> hey, wait a minute! Giraffe must be gift! Woohoo! I love it! <gasps> a bucking giraffe is even better than a bucking rhino! When we find the perfect gift for George, we'll know it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it! Okay, Bucking Giraffe! I told you I'm not your birthday present! <laughs> oh no! George, not that easily fooled! Giddy up! Hey, quit kicking! Well, I've only got one to sell you, but I was just talking to another customer about it today. Then we're just in time. We want it. We'll take it. Well, my other customer can be pretty persuasive. Do you know El Grunty? Yeah. Why? He's the other customer. <laughs> Senor Howie, I have decided I must have the mechanical booking rhino. Actually, El Grunty, I was just about to sell the last one to my friends here. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> we just bought it. <laughs> no, my friend, it is I who am sorry for whatever El Grunty wants. El Grunty gets. We duel. Whoever rides Bucking Rhino longest shall take home the prize. Great. Magnolia? Ape! Well, okay. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, come on! I won't tell I found you before my birthday! George, I'm not lying! I'm just up here having a bite to eat! Oh, come on! Fuck now! Eat later! Yeah! <laughs> right on, giraffe boy! Whee! <laughs> that does it. Woohoo! This is more like it! Uh, uh, ole! Uh, <laughs> ole! Uh, ole! <laughs> <laughs> Invigorating. <laughs> A new jungle record! Six hours, 38 minutes. The saddle is still warm, Senor Ape. <laughs> All right, then. Whoa. Hey. <laughs> okay. This is easy. Yes. The warm-up period is quite easy. It should be up to full speed soon. Oh, dear. George would like cargo shorts, wouldn't he? The earrings I got him would look very elegant if he wore the right shoes. <laughs> 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 Magnolia gave me these beautiful earrings. <laughs> oh! hmm. And look at all those pockets. My. <laughs> Thank you, Ursula. Uh, you're welcome. <gasps> but my best present of all is the visit from my old pal, El Grunty. <laughs> what? Happy first birthday, old friend. <laughs> I hope you like your present. 
my fucking Rhino! <laughs> the heart of the jungle holds many dark secrets. Mysterious artifacts hidden from prying eyes. Pick up the pace already? I don't have all day! I was trying to set a mood here. Sheesh. Uh, are we there yet? Oh, we're here all right. You! Now carry me inside! Oh! Ow! Ow. <laughs> uh, golly, uh, shouldn't we check for... Stop being such a... <gasps> I knew it was real. I knew it! Hooray! Logs are real? You idiot! I don't care about the log. I care about this. The legendary load stick. It has more power than you can possibly <laughs> Nice work, George. Trick is waiting for a dramatic moment. That's mine! Get it back, Caspid. Ow! I got it, Doctor. I got stickhead hurt face for you. Oh, my. Uh, you got little stick in face there? Get your filthy head off my load stick! No, magic stick not for bad people. <laughs> Hands up that mystical artifact. I smell bacon. Ow, 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 I feel funny. <laughs> oh my gosh, did I do that? No my gosh, you didn't. That was the load stick. Whoever holds it, or has it stuck through their head, I guess, has ultimate control over all wood. Control that's supposed to be mine! So give it back already! This won't hurt, will it? Stick now! What do you think I've been... Ugh, I don't have time to deal with you two yo-yos right now! Uh, I wish I had a yo-yo. <laughs> hey! Quit showing off! George, use your teeth! An ape defeat you, evil person! <laughs> You'll never defeat me! Uh, George and Ape talking to him. Could you scoot a little to the left? Little more? Perfect! Surrender stick, Toothhead! Oh, oh! This is where I say something like, Never! And then laugh? <laughs> Doctor? I guess it's... I mean, it's not what I would have done. Oh, watch this! Ah! Wow-wee, that was fun! Wasn't it, Doc? Doc? Oh. Gosh, that was a great battle. We really socked it to him. Whatever. Ooh, can we gloat now? I've never gloated before. <gasps> How about evil one? Good none. <laughs> Up high. Aw, you must be tired. Don't worry. We'll get to beat up George and Ape again soon. <laughs> Evil's the best. <laughs> Want to hear me do Mary Had a Little Lamb? No. Someone 
one's a sulky pants. Bet I can cheer you up. and Cuspid win again! <laughs> that tooth! He's unstoppable! But, but I wanted to be unstoppable! Hang in there, guys! I'll help you stop this super powerful, incompetent, evil tooth villain! Careful! That's a Canadian maple! Okay, okay. Get it together, Stuart. Mad science always cheers me up. Nothing says happy like a laser drone. Fine. I'll just design. What is this happening? It's, it's like Cuspid's the villain and I'm the sidekick. <laughs> Guess who's the brand new evil emperor of all animals? It's me. Cool, huh? Oh, don't worry. You're gonna be Emperor Junior. <laughs> Doc, what you doing? Coming out anytime soon? Can I help? <laughs> Not first time George wished he was Beaver. Ow! Hello, chums. Ah! It's back! Uh, can I ask you for advice? Huh, I suppose. It's not like we're doing anything else this episode. No kidding. This is clearly a Chicago cuspid story. I don't even know why I got out of my tent. Sheesh. <laughs> no listen to her. <laughs> what wrong, Big Tooth? Beside ultimate jungle power stick stuck in brain. I think the doctor's mad at me, but I beat you guys up and won and everything. It's not as simple as that, Cuspid. The doctor's a proud man. <laughs> and more than a little unstable. Give me that stick now! Hi, Doc! <laughs> Tree face! My new battle bot doesn't contain one sliver of wood! But Doc! I don't want to fight you! I should be the one with the ultimate power! Shh! It's okay. I hate you! I hate you! Oh, George sure he not mean it? I was only doing it for you. Yes! It's mine! All mine! Yay! You're a super villain now! That makes me your sidekick again! <laughs> Don't make me laugh! This magic stick is my sidekick now! Now get lost! I never want to see you again! That's the saddest sound I've ever heard. How... how do I turn this on? Is there a switch or a, a leaf I have to squeeze? Ah, never mind! Now we finally get on with this! George is at my mercy. This is everything I've always wanted. Isn't it? Boys say ha ha, but leaky eyes say boo hoo. That's ridiculous. I'm overjoyed. See? <laughs> I'm not crying. I'm not. This is sweat. George thinks Chicago missed Cuspid. He betrayed me. Only true friend lose fight on purpose. But... I still don't need that little abomination. Dad, am I an abomination? Yes, Cuspid, my abomination! <laughs> Yay! Toast! 
I already miss his inane laugh, his funky smell, his lazy eye. Aw, that nice. But why doctor saying it to George? Someone else need to hear it more. I'm sorry, Caspid! Yay! I can be your sidekick again? No, Caspid. I'll be your sidekick. Gosh, but no. You're the real supervillain in our family. But I want you to have it. Thanks, but I want you to have it more. Take no it. way. Yes, Don't way. want it. It's a I'm gift. I'm gifting. <laughs> George's turn! <laughs> um, how it work? Oops. George meant to make heart around them. Just remember, Cuspin, this is all your fault! It always is. It always is. Deep in the jungle, shut off from the conveniences of modern life, animals and man alike must create their own forms of entertainment. Like snake ball. Incoming! Miss. Oh yeah. Oh no! Witch doctor's witch doctoring witch doctor stick! Ah! <laughs> Can Beaver chew this into a copy of a witch doctor stick? Sorry. I just ate a hoagie. Too fully. Enough. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Tasty. Making a stew for me, for you. Hmm. Uh, that tastes just like a doggy's stew. Mm. <laughs> I can fix that. Making a stew for me, for you. Yeah, yeah. past its expiration. I leave my witch doctor witch doctrine stick. Oh, ha, there it is. Now back to my shoe that won't taste like dog shoe. <laughs> it's just a stick. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> 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 Question. Uh, what would happen if your dad's witch doctor witch doctoring stick got broken, huh? Ah! My dad's witch doctor witch doctoring stick is broken? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, George was just wondering, that's all. <laughs> oh, huh. phew. Because my dad always told me that if anything happens to that stick, jungle will be destroyed by evil spirits. So, how does Squirrel think evil spirits will destroy jungle? Earthquake? 
tornado? Giant theme park with high-priced parking? Nah, I'm thinking a giant monster eats everything in its path. Plants, animals, people, everything. And then the entire jungle digests slowly in its gut. Hmm. Ah. Hi there! Ah. <laughs> Oops. Oh, I'll get to it in a minute. What can I do for you, George? George needs help figuring out how to move something. Uh, what kind of something? Oh, the jungle. Just for a change of scenery, you know? When I want a change of scenery, I just back up the old camper. Because there's no Remember how everyone always says they want to go camping? Not really. No. no, I don't. Right! So, surprise camping trip! Huh? Huh? <laughs> Where are we going? Someplace far away, so that when the jungle gets eaten to bits, we'll... Eaten to bits? Uh, no, uh, George said jungle is made of bits. Yeah, but now it's one big bit. But what are the other animals going to do without us? George way ahead of Abe. What's a food court? <laughs> Road trip! Go <laughs> away! Um, George, there's no motor on this thing. Right! <laughs> As George pulled his friends to safety, he found renewed strength, even though his intense guilt slowly festered inside him. Or it may have been all that trail mix. I gotta go to the bathroom again. You know, it is kind of peaceful out here. Peaceful? Huh? Oh, oh, really? Oh, well, that's just what they want, Ape, to think, while well, they plan our destruction. I think you need more trail mix. 68 bunches of bananas on the trees. 68 bunches of bananas. If one falls down, pass it around. 67 bunches of bananas on the trees. Everybody! Are we there yet? I'm getting car sick. <laughs> I'm kidding. <sighs> Nah, I'm serious. Ah! This trip is officially not fun. Ah! <laughs> Why are we stopping, George? George sees an evil-looking rock. Neat. Can we go now? One moment. That's one evil spirit who won't get us. George will save you! trip is officially way not fun. Great! Now we're stuck in the middle of nowhere. No problem. George will get us back home. All righty. Let's move them up. <sighs> it's like sitting in traffic, but there is no traffic. George, I know you wanted to have a nice trip, but maybe we should just go home? <gasps> Yeah, I really miss home. Be right back. Uh, I gotta go to the bathroom again. We'll be here when you get back. Keep your eyes covered. George has big surprise. I hope it's a bathroom with toilet paper. Okay, open your eyes. <gasps> We're home? I'm going to wash my hair. No! George thinks we should just stand right here for a while and uh, not touch anything. Sorry, George, but I'm really hungry. Told you a 
wood wouldn't work. <laughs> George, what are we doing here? We want to go back to the jungle! You <gasps> can't! And it's all George's fault! What? Oh, George broke Witch Doctor's Witch Doctoring Stick, so now evil spirits are gonna eat the jungle and us! <laughs> oh, I made that up when Magnolia was little, so she wouldn't mess with my stuff. <laughs> I have hundreds of these things. I break them all the time and nothing happens. Go ahead. See? Nothing. Hey! You're right! Evil spirits. <laughs> okay. <laughs> believe I'll be the first scientist to study a hyena feeding in person. Wait, that's the science me talking. Oh my gosh, it's gonna eat me! Help! Yeah, buddy. I don't care if he has nowhere else to live. It's disgusting. No time, Ape. Magnolia in trouble. <laughs> Step across that line. But why? Magnolia in trouble. There's no time to explain. So watch this short movie instead. Still being eaten here. Ahem. The movie, please. Oh, sorry. Was that my cue? Right. <clears throat> Many years ago, No Go Valley was known as Go Go Valley and was the vacation destination for the jungle masses. The resort was run by unicorns who used their magical powers of hospitality to bring five-star vacations to all. That is, until one simple snorkel blast changed everything. The unicorns flipped out, then kicked out. Uh, everyone, I mean. And Go-Go Valley became No-Go Valley, forbidden to all by jungle law. But what happened if someone crossed lines? Who cares? Help me! No one knows. But it's something terrible. And worse, it's against the rules. You cannot step across. Uh, Magnolia matter more. Stop! This is terrible! Why'd I even get out of bed this morning? Hey! Me save you from breaking rules now! Hey! Ah! No problem! George never step across, so he no break rules. barely crossed the line, and he only did so to save our resident genius scientist. Oh, me love your funny hats. Oh, he's so tiny and cute. This isn't right. He barely broke the rules. <laughs> I will save it for the judge. Wow, George never been in jungle court before. So clean. <clears throat> Your Honor, while it is true George broke a rule, he only did so to save Magnolia. Surely you can't punish him for that. <coughs> ah, the prosecution didn't even bother to show up. That means not guilty by default. Your Honor, I'd like to... <coughs> Execution say guilty! Guilty? That's 
preposterous. <laughs> 500 moons in jungle jail? That's even worse. <laughs> I'm guilty too and must also go to jail? <gasps> so we win? <laughs> I didn't do anything wrong. Neither of us did. <laughs> I did tell it to the judge. Look it! New friend! <laughs> George, we have to get out of here. We don't belong with these low lives. George likes jail. Guards tell George when to eat and sleep. <laughs> George always forgets. But we're innocent! <laughs> that's what they all say, bro. And that's what you get for breaking the rules. I've never broken a single rule in my life. Uh, are you getting a tattoo? Lemurs say it make me look tough. Arr! Pirate tough. Ted, you know me. I'm not a scofflaw. A what? A felon. Huh? A culprit? You can make up all the words you want, but you're still in jail, bro. But you've broken rules far more than I have. Oh, yeah? Like when? <laughs> hey! No running in the pool, bro! <laughs> but you heard me. <laughs> I told you! But that isn't our house! Ah! We're doomed! Speak for yourself, bro! But... but you're breaking the laws of physics! I don't care, bro! This bird's gotta fly! Huh. Okay, well, I guess that's what you get for not breaking the rules. <laughs> you can't win, bro. Keep okay? I've wasted my life. George, following the rules isn't right. It's wrong. Huh? We're breaking the rules and breaking out of here. Huh? Hey! Hurry up, George! But Abe always tells George to be good and follow rules, so George can't escape jail. What? Tonight, meatloaf night. Mmm. Oh, band aid. Then you're on your own, George. I'll come see you at visiting hours. I owe you one, Bernard. Thank goodness we grew up in the same neighborhood. That escape. It was so exhilarating. Who knew being bad could feel so good? I wonder. Cowabunga! Hey, free jam! Personal high five! <laughs> Excelsior! 17, 18, 22, 50! Oh. Thanks for spot, Ricardo, Adam, Horatio. Ha! Thanks, diapers. <laughs> Looks better on me than in you. I'm not supposed to do this, but... Ah, uh, it feels so good. I know you're not supposed to plug that up and see if it'll explode, but it sure sounds like fun. It's gone back! Someone must stop him! We're that lazy king of jungle! Oh, that me! If George break out, he break rules. But if he no break out, ape break rules! But maybe it okay to break rules to help? Okay! George be bad for a good reason! Bubbles, Tony Lugpants, Honey Badger, George need clever plan to escape. <laughs> And worthy of a king, if I do say so myself. George, you broke out! Fantastic!
stick. Doesn't it feel great? No, it hurt. Things go bad, so must go back to jail to become good again. I'm afraid not, George. I finally realized what I missed all these years being a goody goody. Hey! going to change. I'm a free app now, and I do whatever I want. Like go into No-Go Valley? Exactly! <laughs> ha! See? This rule doesn't even matter. Oh, my. Oh, please stop! Oh, I'm sorry! Oh, I'm sorry! Whoa! Shouldn't you help, Ape? No. Unicorns teach Ape lesson. Oh, my sensitive bottom! But spanking go too far! Believe it or not, unicorns are horribly violent creatures. Who am I kidding? No one will believe me. George, thank you for helping me realize that rules are there for a reason. Like no-go valley rule. <sighs> Precisely. Oh, well. George do crime, he do time. You want French braid again? Okay, okay, no French braid. 